Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Adams Gortel. I'm a professor here at Roberts and one of five possible professors you will have for your Research 1 and Research 2 courses. Your master's project is a requirement in fulfillment of your master's degree. Every student must complete a master's project and it manifests in a paper that's about, not too long, usually between 60 and 85, 90 pages. Don't panic, we will help you through it. We do it through these two courses and almost everyone gets through it. Today what I want to do is just have you start thinking about the possible idea for your master's project. When you start thinking about the focus of your master's project, you want to pick something that you're really interested in. Students sometimes make the mistake and they think, uh, they come up to us and they say, you know, I want an easy topic. An easy topic quickly becomes really tedious and dull. You want to focus on something that's of personal interest to you. We advise students, you know, think back to really what you're learning in this program and interesting things you've talked about in class. Think about what you're doing in classrooms right now. If you're teaching, if you're observing in OPEs, you know, what, what do you find intriguing? If that doesn't pique an interest, then reflect back on your own personal education. Think back to elementary school, middle school, we, we all remember those middle school years, and even high school. Think about ideas there that may be intriguing and could be a catalyst for you to begin your project. I'm just going to read you a couple titles of some projects we've had over the years so you can have an idea of the, um, the vastness, the breadth of topics. So, for example, we have um, disability perspectives in STEM, uh, stress and burnout in special education, um, teaching African American history, a different approach um, in middle school, climate change in politics, you know, how climate change is taught differently in different political climates. How about grading? Uh, when do we begin grading? How effective is grading? How about assessment? Should we be beginning first and second graders um, assessments? What about high school assessments? Co-teaching. Um, let's see, duct tape your mouth. All oh, right, that was on behavior management. Um, we have, how about women in STEM, students with disability in STEM, um, violent and disruptive students, teachers fear. Uh, fear perceptions, bullying. There's a lot of research out there in bullying, a lot of research on students with disability, um, and a lot on discipline. Um, so you can see we have a, a big breadth um, of ideas uh, here, urban garden, how to create an urban garden, what that would mean. So what we want you to do is think of your topic. And once you have your topic, you need to find a niche because we can't research something that's already been researched. So for example, students with disability. There's so much information out there with students with disabilities, but maybe you're interested in students with disability, uh, maybe those who are being transported on a bus with mainstream students. Hmm, what's going on there? What are the challenges? That's what we call a niche, and that would be kind of an interesting project. So think about this. We had a student that wanted to do a project on, um, she was my student, on cell phones. I said, you're not going to do this project on cell phones. And she said, no, I want to find out a student's perspective on teachers who are using their cell phones in classrooms. And that was super interesting because, of course, we have double standards. Teachers are picking up their cell phones all the time. Don't be on your cell phone. It was a super interesting project. So you can have an idea if you can flip it around. So start thinking about this. Talk to your friends, peers, coworkers, yada, yada, yada. Now, one other thing. Once you get your idea, there's three different avenues you can go. I'm going to quickly cover them. We'll cover them in depth when you come to class, but just to start thinking. Uh, let's choose, uh, let's talk about, uh, maybe you're interested in uh, middle school behavior management. <laughs> that problem's always there. That's always a challenge for us. And maybe you can see uh, that you really want to get in there and you want to interview and you want to talk to talk to the teachers in there. Well, if that's the case, you're going to do action research. What this means is you're going to go in and you're going to talk to the teachers. You're going to talk to the principals. Maybe you give them a survey. Maybe you have interview questions. And you collect the data. You come back. You look at the data and you write up your results. That's your master's project that what we call action research. Keep in mind that you can't really survey minors. We'll talk about that later. You're really going to be talking to the teachers, but don't worry, we'll work around that. That's action research. 
Maybe you're not really a people person. You don't want to go talk to the teachers. You're more interested in curriculum. Maybe through your research in our course, which we'll teach you how to research, you've learned about ways to work on discipline through curriculum. Well, then you would create, your project would be a curriculum project. And it's usually based around a piece of literature. In middle school, what are they teaching now? Um, holes or wonder, or if you're uh, classic lit, you could do... Um, the outsiders and you would create an actual curriculum project with the piece of text with the assessment with the activities and dealing with this issue of behavior management maybe you've had enough of the curriculum you're not a people person and you are really interested in teacher training the, the third option would be professional development project and most of you have sat through a two-hour professional oh, should i should say slept through a two-hour professional development well, through this master's project, you can create one yourself, and it would be the same idea of um, behavior management in middle school, but you're teaching teachers how to handle it through your research. So you would have the PowerPoint, you would have the handouts and the information, and that would be the professional development project. So there's three different types of projects you could do. The actual action research, going and talking to the people in the field. Curriculum project, creating something for students um, and teachers to use to apply, or actual just teacher training, professional development. So these are the three projects you could do. There's a fourth avenue, which is the portfolio project we'll talk about in class. That's really, it's, 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 it, let's just face it, it's a little dull and boring and long, and you really can't use it once you graduate. The other ones I feel personally are a lot more effective and interactive, so I, of course, am going to promote them. But once you're in class, we'll talk about that fourth option. All right, so for now, that's it. That's your crash course in um, what research one and two looks like. Start. Oh, no, one other thing. We ask that you come to your first class having read chapter one of Creswell. It's posted on your Moodle. It's not long. I think it's maybe 55 pages to read. You can do it in your sleep. It discusses um, qualitative and quantitative research and presents a qualitative study and a quantitative study. If you have read and understand that before you come to class, you'll be much better prepared to really jump in and get started in that first class. All right, that's it for now. Uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks so much.